because mine are, um, they might sound a little familiar. Really? <laughs> because of your letter. Because of the I letter? I swear I didn't write it after your letter. You promise? <laughs> yes. No, I didn't. Okay. I really didn't. I wrote them yesterday. Okay. I don't think either of us remember our first meeting. I don't think we remember our first conversations or what we talked about or how we started talking and our relationship began without us knowing it. It was simple. It's, it is very much simple. And we started talking one day and haven't stopped since. We started loving each other without knowing it as well. I remember when we first told each other that we love each other and we decided we needed to say love spelled L-U-V <laughs> rather than L-O-V-E because you texted a lot. <laughs> and we decided on this spelling because we had come to love each other as best friends. So it had to be a different form of love. It wasn't L-O-V-E, it was L-U-V. Mm -hmm. And we weren't dating yet, so we were like, wait a second. We also changed L-U-V to L-O-V-E without knowing it. I couldn't tell you what prompted it, but one day we decided we deserved L-O-V-E. And the feeling that we shared has not changed. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna cry, I already know what I wrote. <laughs> Maddie, nothing I say now can do justice to the way I feel about you, but I'll try to do my best. It's been almost nine years now since we kissed in that classroom watching World War Z. <laughs> if you told me then that we'd be standing here today, I'm not sure I would have believed you. After all, we started out as a couple of 16-year-olds who both played lacrosse and were most concerned about which work jobs we'd be assigned. Since then, we've gone through college, lived in different states, and grown into full-fledged adults with actual jobs who are now most concerned about the protagonist and whatever show we're watching at the time. The road here hasn't always been easy. During the, those nine years, there have been ups and downs. At times, we've been near and far. And even though there's been hardship, it all led, up, led to us standing here today. Maddie, you have helped me grow into the man you see before you. You've taught me how to listen, how to learn, and most importantly, how to love. I love you more than you could possibly imagine. You mean the world to me, and nothing brings me more joy than seeing you smile or laugh. <sighs> yeah. Outside of your dreams, cause you might miss the moment he's reaching out his hand. Yeah, I think that's good. Looking great. You look beyond all your things, cause you might overlook that she's asking you to dance. You gotta give all you got, you gotta give all you got for love. Cause you're here for a moment You give all you got, gotta give all you got for love 
Cause you're here for a moment You give all you got, gotta give all you got for love Cause you're here for a moment You give all you got, give all you got for love I promise to lead with love and show how much you mean to me each and every day. I promise to continue nurturing your growth and to support your thirst for knowledge, which is a part of you that inspires me every day. I promise to strive and grow into the best version of myself because you deserve nothing less than that. I promise to try to stop letting all the dishes soak. <laughs> I promise to admit that it really was me who left the cake up in the curry. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like that. <laughs> so, Maddie and Elliot, through the power of the commitments you have just made to each other, and by the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, I now pronounce you married as husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> <laughs> so please rise and join me in celebrating the newly married couple, Elliot and Madeline Wilson. Gotta give all you got for love. Cause you're here for a moment. Give all you got, gotta give all you got. Maddie and Elliot showed us what an unbreakable bond looks like time and time again. Oh baby, maybe you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Daddy, you make this man the happiest I've ever seen him. Uh, honestly, he is the luckiest man to have by his side.